Good evening. Uh, we have an update uh, from the Dominion Preservation Committee. There's nine of us in the committee at the moment. Michael Wolfson, Doug O'Brien, Mike Monahan, Susie Juno, Neil O'Brien, Gordon Dewis, Tim Cole, Stephen Norse, and myself, Sharon O'Dell. The proposed development of the new Ottawa Hospital on the experimental farm grounds adjacent to the Dominion Observatory puts the future of the observatory at risk. The observatory buildings are protected, historical buildings, but their environs are not protected. For example, the South Azimuth building is only protected within the footprint of the building. One needs to protect against the encroachment onto the Dominion Observatory grounds this is to prevent the hospital buildings or parking structures from being built immediately in front of the observatory and from obstructing the sight lines into the sky. This includes tall buildings and parking lot light fixtures. So for example, the hospital site is supposed to or was zoned for 30 stories and could still be. There's also worry of the encroachment of traffic flows that may cut too close to the observatory. So there is uh, a CEG community engagement group of the TOH, which is uh, to do with the hospital. And they have released their new campus narrative this past December 2019. At this point, we simply want to inform RASC and the concerned public about the potential risk to the Dominion Observatory from this new TOH development by showing a few maps and aerial photographs here. The key idea is to enhance the protection of the heritage and scientific value of everything related to the Dominion Observatory site, not only the building shells, but also the related scientific instruments, papers and photos, and the site itself as an integrated whole, including the meridian line. The city's zoning maps and the NCC proposal for the hospital boundaries do not align, and the hospital seems to be using the NCC boundaries as shown in the new campus narrative December 2019. The city's zoning map should be official boundaries, which are more favorable to the observatory. There is concern that the proposed height of the building will interfere with the observatory's view of the night sky. Outline of the Dominion Observatory area from the CEG, which you can see, I think, to my right, uh, is uh, the land parcel shown here and does not match the zoning registered with the city. The outline matches original proposals submitted to the NCC in 2016. So you can see here on a Google Earth uh, map the, the context. Here's an aerial photograph from 1946. The changes to the buildings are shown. Land near the building number seven had approximately 20% removed in order to make space for the expansion of Carling Avenue. Building 8 was the North Azimuth building, and it was removed during the expansion of Carling Avenue, and it helped define the meridian along with the South Azimuth building. The white building attached to the south of the observatory was a solar heliograph, and it was demolished in 1970. The star-shaped garden in the top left was removed before 1960 and is part of the astronomer's house landscaping. So you can see the changes that have happened over time. This other aerial photograph from 1966 show, shows the changes to the buildings. Eight and nine were removed during the 1970s. They measured the continental drift. Building number three is the heliograph removed in 1970 again. And building number six was shortened to make room for Carling Avenue's expansion. The meridian line is also seen here in yellow. The alternate view of the site was also taken soon after the expansion of Carling Avenue in 1965. Just showing you again another viewpoint. 
The outline of the Dominion Observatory area in this image is smaller than the official plans. City zoning extends the border towards Winding Way Road and connects to the agricultural buildings across Maple Drive. The concerns about the expansion of Maple Drive for the hospital access route affecting the South Azimuth building is a real concern. So in conclusion, what's next? There is an active Dominion Observatory Preservation Subcommittee of the Ottawa Chapter of RAS, which is us, engaged with the TOH and other key parties. We will keep the Ottawa RAS conform with these short presentations like this one, as things unfold. Please stay tuned. Thanks for your attention.